Ear Tish Russian, Ertis formerly called Soyuz 5 Russian, Suz-5, codenamed Phoenix in Russian and Sunker, Skar meaning Falcon in Kazakh, is a planned Russian rocket that is being developed by JSCSRC Progress within the Project Phoenix Russian, Phoenix lit. Phoenix. Initially it will replace the capability of Zenit 2, and Proton Medium, and in the future will serve as the base of a super heavy lift launch vehicle rocket to revive the Energia – Buran capabilities. It is expected to launch from the Baikonur Baderik, the ex-Zenit 2 launch site, in a partnership with the government of Kazakhstan, with a planned debut of 2022. Topic. Project organization The current proposal is led by JSCSRC Progress, with support by Krunichev and Mikheyev. Additionally, RSC Energia would handle the launch site, and supply the Block DM-03, while Roscosmos would finance the development through the Project Phoenix under the 2016-2025 Russian Space Master Plan. Kazcosmos would also be a partner since the initial launch pad would be at Baikonur Cosmodrome Site 45 in Kazakhstan, within the framework of the Baderik Bi National Joint Venture, and International Launch Services ILS would commercialize its services for the international market. The initial application of the launch vehicle would be to cover the under 5T 5 tons to GTO commercial launch segment. With the loss of the Zenit 3 SLB due to Russia conflicts with Ukraine, both the decision not to develop Angara A3 and launch Angara A5 from Vostochny, the Baderik project was without a launch vehicle. The 2016 announcement of the Proton Medium and Light, meant that ILS, would enter the medium GTO launch market. But since the Kazakh government desired to deprecate the use of highly toxic hypergolic propellants used by Proton, they would need a replacement. For this commercial application JSCSRC Progress proposed the Soyuz 5 in early 2016. It would start with this commercial application with the prospect of also enabling a super heavy launcher with a 80 t 88 tons payload capability to low Earth orbit. The Kazakh side agreed on the general terms, but the investment share was left to decide. As part of the 2016 arrangements, the Kazakh government would get ownership of one the Proton launch pads, and participate in the operations of Proton Medium and Proton Light. Then, they would get to participate in the Ear Tish launchers since its expected debut in 2022. Four test launches are planned before the development is considered complete. Topic. Vehicle description Soyuz 5, as proposed in 2016, reuses many available propulsion and tooling, while enabling a platform that would replace the lost capabilities of the Zenit family, replace the proton light, medium, and could serve as the boosters of a new super-heavy rocket. It will initially be a two-stage rocket, but could be enhanced with an optional block DM-03 for geostationary missions. It would be compatible with most of the Zenit's ground infrastructure, and even use the Site-45 at Baikonur. Its tanks would be 4.1 meters 13 feet in diameter, which would enable the re-use of Proton's tooling. Since they would be wider than Zenit 3.9 meters 13 feet, it would enable a higher propellant load for the same height. While this diameter enables a heavier rocket and is already compatible with train transport to Baikonur, it would prevent that cheap method for Vostochny Cosmodrome. It would use the relatively environmental friendly RG-1, LOX propellant, which would be an improvement over the highly toxic hypergolics of Proton. 
This has been a requirement from the Kazakh government for new projects. The first stage would be powered by an RD-171MV, very similar to RD-171M used in Zenit 2 and 3. With a height of 37.14 meters, 121.9 feet, it would be higher than Zenit's first stage, 32.94 meters, 108.1 feet, and wider, and thus it could carry 363t, 400 tons of propellant versus 290t, 320 tons. Its base would still feature a 3.68 meters, 12.1 feet aft section for compatibility with Zenit pad and support infrastructure. Its second stage would measure 7.77 meters, 25.5 feet by 4.1 meters, 13 feet in diameter with a dry mass of 5.9 t, 6.5 tons and an RG1 LOX load of 59 t, 65 tons. Tons. It would be powered by two RD-0124MS engines each with four nozzles arranged in a semicircle, so two engines would feature eight total nozzles close to rocket perimeter, forming a circle. This arrangement would minimize the stage length, while keeping the engine's excellent specific impulse, with a gross mass of 484 t 534 tons against Zenit 430 t 470 tons, and the improved efficiency of its second stage, it could launch 16 t 18 tons to a 200 km circular orbit with an inclination of 51.6 degrees to the equator from Baikonur. This is a significant improvement over Zenit that could do roughly 12 t 13 tons to the same orbit for geostationary launch missions it could optionally be equipped with a block DMO3 third stage since it would use the same propellant and is already used on the Zenit 3SL and Angara A5 it would be a low risk option the expected performance of 4.5 t 5.0 tons to GTO and 2.3 t 2.5 tons to GSO, it would improve over Zenit 3SLB 3.6 t 4.0 tons and 1.59 t 1.75 tons. Topic: Soyuz 5 Super Heavy. Its first stage could be used as the boosters and even core of a super heavy rocket capable of launching 73T 80 tons to low earth orbit from Baikonur or Vostochny. Improving the performance to 120 t, 130 tons, and even 160 t, 180 tons was considered possible with this architecture. While the current 2016-2025 plan for deep space exploration calls for the use of the heavy Angara 5 volts, it would just enable 36 t 40 tons, requiring up to four launches for a single moon mission. And would also require the use of expensive hydrogen as fuel. The Soyuz 5 Super Heavy would simplify the mission while using readily available modules. Topic. See also Proton M Zenit rocket family Soyuz 7 rocket family Angara